Community Celebration Concert is coming to City Hall Park this Saturday, and as Catherine Huntley explains, it will also be a sober event to help those who are in recovery connect with the community. This Saturday, the Raving for Recovery Celebration and Concert is taking over City Hall Park. It's sort of like a way to show that you can still have fun and enjoy your life on a Saturday night without all of those things. Turning Point member Emily Corcus says it's a chance to enjoy a weekend evening without substances. The event is alcohol and drug free. Corcus is in recovery herself, as are all Turning Point employees. She says recovery can be incredibly isolating and it's important to get out and find a community that supports recovery. Rewiring your brain to think that it's going to be okay without something that you're chemically dependent on um, is very hard. Uh, but being around people who are doing it every day and are happy helps. This is the third year of a sober concert in City Hall Park. The space can be synonymous with substance use issues in the community. But according to the Turning Point Executive Director, that's part of the reason why they hold the concert in City Hall Park. Being in City Hall Park and, and bridging the gap of those that feel isolated throughout all of this, those that are unhoused, those that are uh, continuously falling through the cracks of treatment and social services that we can bridge that connection. The celebration will be family friendly and will include free food, music and many fun events. Plus, we'll have a discussion of recovery. Executive Director Cam Loft says last year the event helped people find their way into services. It's really an opportunity to call people in to let them know that they're, they're welcome, that they can be a part and we have everything that is free to them um, and that this event is really to reinforce one that we're all one in this and that we have to be the event takes place on saturday from 4 30 to 9 p.m in burlington Catherine huntley channel 3 news